I've been at home all week cutting stencils for a project that I've been very excited to announce for months now. Drum roll. I'm working with Tops to create 20 original paintings which will be turned into baseball cards for what they're calling Project 2020. They're teaming up with 20 artists to recreate 20 of the most iconic Tops cards. It's amazing. The card that is due today is Nolan Ryan. Here's the original card. Now a couple weeks ago, the Tops team actually came here to my studio and they filmed me creating one Nolan Ryan card, but I want the card to be epic. And so after I finished the painting, I decided that I wanted to take another stab at it. Hold on a second, I'm gonna put you guys on a tripod so I can like use my hands or something. When the Tops team was here at my studio, I painted this Nolan Ryan card. There are some things that I like about it, but there's also some things that bother me. And if this is gonna get reproduced onto a baseball card that is gonna get circulated to a lot of places, I wanna put my best work out there. I did this in a couple hours, two or three hours that the top scene was here filming because I wanted them to see the whole process start to finish. So because of that, the end result card needs to look kind of like this because they're gonna be using that promo video and I wanna be using that promo video and I don't want people to see me paint this card and then the card that comes out looks totally different. Also, this is like a pretty big painting and supplies for this are not cheap. So I'm doing 20 cards and I realized that doing 20 paintings this size, unnecessary expenses. Especially because the card is gonna turn out to be like that big, you know. I decided that I'm gonna do all 20 cards. Hold on, I will get a canvas and show you one second. Recent painting I did for Will Bynum with Kobe in the diamond dust. So that is the size now that I'm gonna do. I wanna do 18 by 24. It's gonna make it more manageable to do uh, 20 paintings in terms of materials. Let's get the painting. Actually, let's show you some stencils first and then we'll get the painting. Again, all of these were done this week. Jackie Robinson, super tight. Mark McGuire, we have the Nolan Ryan. So because I did this Nolan Ryan bigger, and I want them all to match and be the same size. I had to recut the stencil, which is fine. Oh, we got Ken Griffey, Don Mattingly, and uh, Ricky Henderson. Okay, now we are ready to start painting. So again, we want it to look kind of like this so that the promo video doesn't look wildly different, but I have some ideas. I'll show you. So the idea is all baseball cards have like this white border. I'm gonna be doing painting with orange. On one of them, I'm gonna do acrylics. And I basically want to kind of go across like this so that like we have kind of a paint splatter kind of effect here. So that the border, we still will have crisp white down the outside, but we're gonna have a kind of paint splatter. So it's not gonna be a crisp white line on the inside, it's gonna be a painty line. I'm gonna do the acrylic first on this one because that one will take longer to dry. Then I'm actually gonna paint Nolan Ryan on these papers. That way I can do a couple different Nolan Ryan variations. Cut them out, put them on here. Oh, it's gonna be so sick. Okay, back to time lapse, let's do it. Okay, while those are drying, I'm gonna paint Nolan Ryan on these two sheets of paper. Okay, back to time lapse. All right, so I sprayed a silver using the black stencil but with this silver very opaque spray paint. So now, I'm gonna paint in all the mid-tones, grays, browns, white for the ball, skin tone, Mets, blue and orange, face stuff. We're gonna try two different things, and then whichever one is the coolest, we're gonna cut out, boop, 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 and we're gonna put on top of the background of choice. And that will be the painting that will turn into the baseball card. Four tops, first of 20, Nolan Ryan. I'm Blake Jamison. What is up? Yeah! All right, this is almost dry.
keep in mind, we're gonna have the stencil on top of them and then we're gonna cut them out. So everything like outside the lines really doesn't matter. Now I can hit them with different stencil layers and then we'll lay them on top of that. Time out. I do have to decide which of these I'm gonna use. Definitely gonna use this, uh, this background. So it's either gonna be that one or that one. Let's see them side by side. There are parts of each that I like. This has better gray, like I like the shadow under the hand. I wish that it was more shadow there, but this one's cool. This one is a little bit more lighter. I actually like like this kind of messy orange because you can just tell it's a painting. I like that about this one. Let's see the faces. That one's a little more baby face. Hmm. I think that first one. I think that's the one. So I think that's a success. I gotta, uh, I'm gonna mount this on here, take photos and then submit it as a card today as promised. Pretty close to the original one I painted with Topson Studio. Obviously a uh, little bit different, but same kind of color scheme, same idea. I'm very happy with it. I think this is gonna be a dope card. All right, that is a wrap in the studio. Finished card painting. It's not actually a finished card. Now I gotta go home and do some graphic design, add a Mets logo, a little bit of a touch-ups in Photoshop, and then submit to Tops by the end of the day. And it's getting a little bit dark. Plus, Cuomo shut down the whole city today. All non-essential travel completely cut off. This was essential today also that was announced after I left t this morning. So I'm gonna go home and be posted up there for a while. I printed out one more stencil, Mike Trout, which will be, I think my third card released. Anyways, I'm out. I'll see you at home in a second. Let's go. All right, I'm back at home. A little bit of graphic design. So this is the original card file. So I basically set it up with the painting. So it's gonna look like that. Then I will literally just cut it out from this original card. 